loved the value, the Islamic value of peace, and that Islam was not born through war, and I loved that. However, when I looked at the history, Muhammad was a very violent, and I can tell you how I was led to Christianity. Surely Muhammad wouldn't encourage the rape of married women by his own people. If he had the command, surely he would have stopped them. And I read um, every... This is in Sahib. the Quran you read. Yes, and I, and I asked questions and I... <gasps> I'm sorry. No, and I was heartbroken she, to even uh, learn can you that. Can you that. Can you Sir, please, please do not mistake my tears for manipulation. No, 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 no. I'm not don't talk about manipulate. your tears. But you said Muhammad is violence. But can you let us even, 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 uh, even the Prophet, uh, prophet who came uh, after uh, Moses, he used... Uh, the Bi what the Bible preaches is that... God does not love you because you are good. Because God loves you, you can be good. And when Jesus, but I found, but could you could you help me because yes, when yes. I examined, thank you. I mean, yeah. you've made a. He's a violent guy and this. I didn't read that in the Quran. I read that in. Hi guys, you're welcome back. Hope you guys are feeling good. So this lady actually condemned. Islam in public and said a lot of things. So let's watch. Uh, dictating very to, uh, lots of scribes that they, they were saying uh, what, what the Quran would be and, and a lot the Quran that, that you have in hand. Uh, unfortunately, um, the, the history that I found was that there were multiple different versions. Yeah, you should hear. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and I know that that happened. And, 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 and that many people came to him and said, okay, well, which one is the right one? And Muhammad said, that's okay. They also loved the value, the Islamic value of peace, and that Islam was not born through war. And I love that. However, when I looked at the history, <laughs> Muhammad was a very violent and warmongering man. And oh sir, please, I don't I don't want I don't want to um I don't want to insult your prophet either. But I want you to I want you to see him as he is through history and science and the archaeolo uh, the the archa blah, 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 that, that we have today. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um when I when I the final straw was when I read that um that Muhammad um, was allowed that I read that Muhammad had allowed um, uh, men in war to take um, already married women as their wives, um, and I said, "Well, surely there must be some kind of context for that. Sur surely Muhammad wouldn't encourage the rape of married women by his own people. If he had the command, surely he would have stopped them." And I read um, every. This is in Sahib. the Quran you read? Yes. Okay. Um, I read, I, is it Surah 4? I think it's, I, I, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I wish I could. That's fine. I'm so That's sorry. Fine. Just carry on. Um, and, I, and I ask questions and I, <gasps> I'm sorry. And I was heartbroken to even learn that. Sir, please, please do not mistake my tears for manipulation. No, no, no. no. I, I don't talk about manipulate. your tears. But you said Muhammad is violence. But can you let us even, even, uh, even, uh, even, uh, even the prophet who came after Moses, Quran. he used the violences also. Please carry on. Please carry on. Uh, the, Jerusalem. Um, Quran, the Quran portrays Muhammad as a peaceful and mighty man who enacted lots of mercy and was and was the true the true man of faith the true muslim the man that all muslims should em, should should emulate but if the i was i was i stumbled when i saw the history of, of the historical muhammad and how and many commentators who who said that even then in the context that he even encouraged them to take the to take uh a war captive women as their wives and um so that was not are we the allowed Muhammad. to answer you or what are we allowed to answer yes you? of course answer please do i i these are questions that 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 led me away from um islam and i can tell you how i was led to christianity um but i know that um you clearly you would have to be you would have to be convinced away from islam in order to do that 
So, yes, please. So, please what were you before me. you came to Christianity? Mm -hmm. Were you another faith before Christianity? No, um, I was. I was a nihilist, which means that I believe that there was no meaning in this universe, that we are all flesh and uh, brain chemicals, and that and every thought that we make is just a result of what we ate for dinner. Because if there is no such thing as a world beyond this flesh, then how can I trust anything I think? Um, then I... Um, okay, yes, yes, yes. I was, and then she become Christian. Okay. No, sir. Please do not put words into my mouth. Okay. Um, I, I, so yeah. um, I, I was convinced that the world of nihilism um, explained well, I this And however, there were some things that it couldn't explain, like the feeling of love. How could that just be a biological sensation of a sex drive? The feeling of that, the, the desire that I had for a god, I was convinced by that C.S. Lewis's argument that um, we come out of the womb desiring food, which must mean that food somehow exists. And if we all desire God, then I'm sh then maybe surely God must exist. I'm not sure what I think of that argument now, but that is what led me to pursue right, no religion. So we go back yes. to the points you brought up. So the flip, flip side of your points is that Jesus is peace, isn't it? So you found peace with Jesus. I found I found that the Bible, that the Old Testament and New Testament through history and archaeology was the most accurate thing that I could say was the Word of God. It was written by 33 different authors who all have this almost from different cultures, from different genders, from different from different eras of the world, from different nations, from different tribes and tongues and languages. And all of these people had the same experience with this God. And then I was I read through history the accuracy of the Old Testament and the accuracy of the New Testament. And I uh, I discovered um, the historical method, which is used to test ancient documents and to see if they were truly written by the people that they were written by, if they are actually the same words that were written back then, if they were uh, were written by trustworthy people, by who were eyewitnesses, if those eyewitnesses accounts can be even trusted, and I was convinced that the that the Bible was the word of God. So I started reading it, and and the worst thing that is in the Bible is that it demands it demands something that no other religion demands. I found that all religions have. I, I've, many people, I'm sure, have told you that all, all religions are the same, right? Well, yeah, and, and, and that's what I believed a lot. Um, well, I, and all religions, I think, are very are the same in that they all have, like, the Quran, uh, the, the five pillars, or like Buddhism with the eight ways. They all, ha or, they, or Judaism, the Ten Commandments. They all have a set not set number of rules that will help you reach heaven, enlightenment, oneness with the universe, whatever. Um, and they all they all rely on your effort, on your pulling yourself up by your bootstraps and being a good person, changing your life. It is you who changes you. And I believe that that is the gospel that most that I believe every one in the world believes. However, when I read the Bible, I see that I am incapable of making myself a better person. I am at my core. I'm, I feel the spiritual superiority, the pride that I am better than you because I know more. Or I feel um, jealousy for things that I... That, that, and, and I hurt people and I... And I am messed up. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Um, and uh, uh, I knew that no matter what, um, that I would not be able to uh, turn my way to rightness with God. Um, but thankfully, the Bi what the Bible preaches is that God does not love you because you are good. Because God loves you, you can be good. And when Jesus, when Jesus saves you and rescues you, you cannot help but love Him and desire and I will tell you, sir, I am, I am also a Christian. I am not, I am not this, I'm a Catholic. I'm not the same denomination as this girl here. Excuse me. And One conversation.
Can we have you one conversation? Uh, you read in the Quran that he's a violent guy and this. I didn't read that in the Quran. I read that in history. I, I, but I agree. In the Quran, he seems like a perfect man. He seems Can like I the person that everyone that we would want to be. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I found. Well, but well, could you could you help me because I yes yes. Thank you. I mean, you've made a very good case. An emotional case for your. I'm sorry for the emotion. No, 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 no. I An emotional know. case for your. But um, I want to hear what the brother have to say, and maybe um, if you allow me, I just have some points because you made very interesting points. But let's hear what the brother has to say first. Firstly, when when Christians compare Muhammad to Jesus, we have to bear something in mind. You claim Jesus is God. Oh, you don't, Sir, right? please don't. I I don't I don't I don't. No, want no, to let, go let me make my point, and okay. then you can. So you claim Jesus is God. We don't claim Muhammad is God. Yes. Firstly, you, you comparing your God to my prophet. No, I'm not. Let me carry on, and you can rebut. I, I'm not doing that. Though, sorry, sorry, can I? Can I? Just I think you misunderstand my argument. What I, I want to know. Can I carry on, and then yes. you can? Yeah. So Muhammad, when he came, he was a ruler of his land. Was Jesus a ruler? Was, as part of ruling the land, you have crime and punishment. You have to deal with daily, daily business. He has to decide over judgments that people bring to him. Right. Part of the judgment is also punishment to run the country. So when he decrees something, he decrees according to the Quran, which is also according to your old testament. When you say the wives, sorry, one second. When you say that you are allowed to take the wives of people who died in the battle, it's also in Deuteronomy chapter 22. Exact same yes, verse. Yes, can chapter I, can 22, I verse 10. Yes. Sorry, let me finish. What does the verse say? That if you see a woman, if you see a woman and you like her in the war, you take her home, you take her home, let her mourn for a month. Mourn what? The death of the husband, father, mother, and then you can take her as a wife. So when we say that Muhammad did this, we need to look at your Bible as well. Right? So we need to be have the same standard. Although we only claim Muhammad is a, is a human being. Was it just yes. a messenger? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it wasn't God, like you say. I know. Jesus, I don't say do you, that. Do you believe Jesus is God? Yes. Right. This is what I mean. I mean but I don't that. believe that Muhammad claims to be God. Let's go back. Let's go back to the violence in with Benu Qurayda in Medina. Um, can I can I address the before the, you address? The, you made the point. Sorry, sorry. Can before I, you address, because you made a lot of interesting yeah. points. A lot of them. So yeah, it is only fair. It is only fair as Muslims. If we have our say on this issue, right? So um, carry on and then. Yeah. So, for example, Banu Qurayda, you mentioned Muhammad allowed the killing of, they say, 600 or a figure that's been plucked from the skies. There weren't even 600 men in that place for Banu Qurayda. What happened with them? They made a treaty to support the state that Muhammad was running for Islam. Imagine the United States, Trump, does a treaty with Canada. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean, let, yeah, let me make right. it. Trump makes a treaty with Canada that when England attacks them, Canada will help USA. When England attacked, Canada went with the USA. So what would Trump do to them? To do to them? I can never predict right. anything Trump does. But let, let's, <laughs> I think people watching this video will know the point I'm making. But what happened here, when the Meccans came to attack, the Muslims in Medina, this Banu Qurayda sided with the Meccans, already outnumbering the Muslims. <laughs> so when when the Muslim, uh, the, the pagans the went back to Mecca, the, uh, now the there has to be a judgment for treason against the state. And this is what happened. I, I wanted to no, bear this in mind. No, the Banu Qurayda leaders, they asked for one yeah, of their I mean, allies to the judge them, not Muhammad. Like, the Remember, the Muhammad is the state the leader here, yeah. the leader of the state. Yeah. He, um, as such, should be judging them. But he gave them what they wished. You want your ally to judge you? No problem, you can have him. And what did Sa'ad bin Mu'adh, who's the one who judged them, what did he use? Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, sir, I understand what you're referencing. So, if you have an issue with what Sa'ad did to the Banu Qurayda, then you have an issue with your Bible. Okay. Just, I just want to add a few points. You can respond to these points uh, in, in a moment. As I said, you know, long time ago, I used to visit a website called Answering Muslims by David Wood. Um, What's it called? Answering Muslims by David Wood. And I used to love his arguments in the sense that Christians are very familiar in using it. So every Christian I used to speak to is actually an exact replicative statement from that website. So the statements about 
unfortunately what I've seen from you as well I don't I don't say you've got, actually got it from them reflects you know Mia bil Mia we say in Arabic like 100 percent of, of, of the material that is found within there the only problem is when I used to read that and I wanted to see what the Muslim had to respond I never found Christians actually reading the response in response to those arguments that are made so many things you said about historicity and then you know, the perfect character all of these issues so if I were to ask you okay did you study I'm sure you studied a lot because that's where you're coming out from in the university settings maybe in, in, a, in a university where these studies are made by academics or you learned them from books here and there you mentioned one of the books by C.S. Lewis interesting Christians do read it um, when I when I when I I'm not gonna ask you okay let's leave it to your knowledge base whatever you've read um, you can correct me if I'm if I'm um, saying something totally uh, unrealistic Muslims often go to certain things about Christian argument and they don't bother also to read what the Christians have to respond from their academic exegetes and so on so if you were to look at some of the materials that has explained fine so I would have expect that you have also done the same for the things that you've looked at because you have made up your mind that you've examined the Quran and the Islam and the Prophet and 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 you've examined the historicity of the Bible and Jesus and Christianity and then you found convincing Christianity so if we were now to go into example by example um, I would ask you for example okay what is the basis for you're actually making that claim because you found the Muslim scholarly response inadequate or because the response doesn't exist so let's give you one example about this issue is about the prophet marrying someone uh, in the battlefield and you amounted to as a rape and the example you just highlighted a little bit where did you actually study this from and which scholarly material have you read in response by the Muslims then we can continue yes um, so Iman, um, oh man I'm sorry, I read it out of a book of a commentary of the Quran made, written by Imam. Hmm. Amen. Uh, Amen. I'm sorry. Um, I, I really Amen. did wish I was at school. We are. And, and you're right. Um, I think a lot of me is is mistaken to think of it as a rape. Um, no, no, no. But Where have you read and the responses by the Muslims? Because. For my, for my, for prim, I, most of my research for the uh, for, for Muslim academic thought comes from books that I've read and imams that I've spoken. So, to. which particular I've primary never, sources have you read? Have it, no, which particular books yeah. primarily Islamic sources have you read? Yeah, yeah. Um, commentaries. Like? I don't have them with me. I'm sorry. No, no, think about something you've read because if it's something that's convinced you, you should have read. Is it from, for example? Imam Jabir al-Tabari, you know, he's, he's written a Tafsir al-Tabari, but only only part of it is translated in English. So unless you have a very good knowledge of Arabic language, you don't. Okay, so it couldn't have been from there. Um, Ibn Kathir is available, but he doesn't mention any of these things that you say that you tend to want to rape. So it cannot be from there. By the way, as far as I know, part of it's translated, it cannot be from there. Zamakhshari, likewise, coming from there. Ar-Razi, not from there. So I can give you, I can give you all of these names, and you won't find anything that you say you have read is from there. So it cannot be from our primary material. The response by the Muslims, you've read from which 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 scholarly um, academic sources have you read? You've got me. I cannot cite my sources. So you see, when somebody is convinced, our conviction must come from based on knowledge rather than emotion. I can cry at like some people do in the in the uh, passionate individual. You know what? May God make you a strong person, and may God guide you to Islam and make you even stronger. Um, but these are our emotional basis for accepting something, right? We have to have an intellectual basis. So rejecting the truth has to be done with evidence, right? So which material sources have you come to know about these things? Well. Um I apologize because you're right. I should not rely on emotion here. I should rely on scholarly articles, mm -hmm. and I should rely on on real people who have studied what they've done. And I apologize for for making it seem like I um like I have studied because I haven't. You're right. Um, so what what person, led you then? What the did you study? The one person that I can I that I remember their name um, because I, I I was able to read it in English, um, and and he has a a, a little bit more uh, American American.
Americanized name. Yeah. Um, it's Nabil Qureshi. I'm sure you've heard Qureshi, of him. who was a friend of David, Qu David Wood once. They were working together, yes. uh -huh. and then he left with his own apologetic ministry. So the material, obviously, the same material that I'm talking about. Now, these are materials by Christian apologists to respond to Muslims, right? Well, so it was, it's not. It was written by Nabil Qureshi himself, depicting no, Nabil Qureshi. His faith, Nabil Qureshi is just like another. If I say, for example, have you heard of a Muslim apologist for, say, Sabir Ali, right? Or have you heard of Muslim apologist called Adnan Rashid? Yes. The, yeah. Okay. Fine. So these are Muslims, right? Going to tell you about Islam and also respond to Christianity. So to learn about Christianity, are you going to go to Shabir Ali and Adnan Rashid, for example? What? To learn about Christianity, the Christian argument and the You're Christian right. response. I shouldn't learn about. I shouldn't learn about. That I, I shouldn't learn about Islam from a Christian, and I shouldn't learn about Christianity from a Muslim. Yeah, I'm You're not right. saying Shabir Ali and Adnan Rashid haven't done very good works on this. In, in fact, they have very good materials that are produced for both sides of, 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 of the people, for Muslims yeah. and non-Muslims alike, and Christians. Guys, I beg. I don't know this guy. Pardon me, guys, for making this statement, but this guy is so good. She'll be so good in acting. That's what I want to comment on first. I don't just understand why you will come out to talk without proof and points. Like a lot of things she said that I did not even understand. Like she was just roaming, 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 roaming. I was just like, what are you saying exactly? Okay, you came, uh, they were all having a debate, and you make a statement that the reason why you left Islam for Christianity is because. And the Mohammed did this, he was that, he was that. And along the line, why she was talking, she was crying. What was making you cry? I don't understand. If you want to talk about religion, don't put emotions into you explaining religion. You are once a Muslim, you converted to Christianity. And now they're telling you, why do you believe Christianity is the way for you? And why did you leave Islam? And you are now basing your point on only Prophet Muhammad. That's not enough proof. Number one. Number two, while you were talking, you were saying, yes, yes. She said a lot of things about Christianity that Jesus saves. You know, when you read the Bible, he gives you peace of mind, this and that. She said a lot of things about Christianity. But she put too much emotions in this debate. So why are you not saying that this is this, if you cannot prove it in the Quran? I love the fact that the other man had to explain to you that if you want to explain something explain with enough proof and with knowledge don't come and explain based on your emotion but, but what do you feel about that explanation on islam and do you think our reasons were valid for leaving the religion islam let's keep this discussion going guys i'll see you guys in the next one bye